Hey guys, here we are with X-Files Season 1, Episode 5, and in the last episode, it was another one of those, I mean, I was going to say suspenseful episodes, even though, like, every one of the episodes is technically a suspenseful episode, but um, it was one of those where it was kind of like an alien-based one, or extraterrestrial, whatever you want to call it, Um and the girl that ended up getting abducted or um what are they called um is it is it just an abduction i was thinking that maybe an alien situation was a little bit different but um when she got abducted and she got returned she didn't want to uh like say anything she didn't want to mention what happened to her at all and I'm sure there's a lot more to unpack there. I don't know if, like, maybe we'll see um, another episode that's going to be, like, related to that one. I'm sure that we will. But um, anyway, this episode, again, is pre-recorded, uh, like, so far the entire first season is. Um, if you want to check out this episode completely unedited along with the rest of this season already, unedited or get early access for anything else that I do please feel free to check out my patreon in the link in the description below um but yeah let's go ahead and jump into this episode dog and bingo was his name oh yeah what's that what's happening did they blow a tire it's okay I'm just gonna laugh no problem here honey honey would you mind holding the light for a second oh shit They found a body in the New Jersey woods yesterday, missing its right arm and shoulder. They think they may have been eaten off by a human. Yeah. Where in New Jersey? Just outside Atlantic City. Autopsy shows human flesh and bones in the man's large intestine. A beast man. Is the autopsy report in here? It's a folk tale, a myth. I heard the same story when I was a kid, That's too. That's what they all say. Funny thing is, I believed it. Thanks, Doreen. Fact is, we got a cannibalized body in New Jersey. Someone or something out there is hungry. Is it the same thing or is it a copycat? I'm sorry. I'm gonna ask you to leave. We have an investigation. For God's sakes, Tommy, this is no time to get pissy. We have jurisdiction here. Any suspects yet, Detective? Okay, I don't well, even you, if sir. they have jurisdiction, and you might you as well use the their help. General, uh, this case is a local matter. That's what I don't it's understand about the whole jurisdiction fighting thing. No need to it's still a thing. On I've contrary, witnessed it with my own eyes. I think I've been exceedingly polite. I don't I don't get it. I don't get the jurisdictional fight bullshit. It's ridiculous. Yeah, chances are he's without I mean, a clue. I get steal I, I, my thing is is like when I bring the next body in. Hell, you can you use the help really because the really whole point really of being in law enforcement you're supposed to try to help people. Jersey devil. And like figure out what's wrong and like, you know, justice and all that. Hey, so the whole hotel, selfish, prideful show, bullshit just pisses me off. Do a little... Most are scared of the wood. Scared? Of what? I don't know. The devil? Mm, People say that's story. just a myth. Depends on who you talk to. And I'll tell you one thing. I don't ever come out here without my weapon anymore. How this far is it into town from here? About a mile, mile and a half. It's okay. It's all right. What happened? Did you bump your head? Hmm. Oh, Just die. Oh. 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 I'm looking forward to that, but I'm not looking forward to that. Oh. <laughs> 
You're amazing. What? You're such a natural at all this. I don't know how you keep it all together. When am I supposed to find the time? Well, first you have to get a life. And, of course, it helps if you can find a man. Hmm? No, I knew she was going to say yeah, something They're disappearing that. faster than the Brazilian rainforest. What about that guy you work with? Mulder. Mulder? Yeah, I thought you said he was cute. He's a jerk. He's not a jerk. He's, um... He's obsessed with his work. Oh, well, so are you. He was murdered two days ago. Got that lady behind him. Ma'am, can I... You a cop? No, I'm FBI. Basically the same thing. I'll show you something. You gonna rob him? What is this? Stuck in the pocket of a jacket I found. Does it mean anything to you? I've seen it. Where? Right here. Digging in here? the trash. Are you hustling me? Everybody's pretty freaked. Anybody told the cops? You think they don't know? Mm -hmm. Room 756. Go ahead. Hey, they got HBO? <laughs> yeah, they do. That was nice. I wonder if it's just another, like, homeless person. <laughs> kind of acting like a caveman. He was in... Wasn't he in a cave, too? It's kind of funny. Look at the way he's dressed. Out. He's not a homeless person. Mulder, where are you? The drunk tank? Why does she say that out loud? Well, it's not hard to see control. where they mistook you for a vagrant. This thing chewed somebody's arm off. It's not exactly a defensive posture. But you do believe that I saw something. Don't you? you saw something. I'll yeah, but even that, if it was not about like a, a part of no one nature nothing more than a or whatever. A dark alley. I still got a hotel room. If it was like an animal, yeah, well, animalistic person or whatever, if he's so used to eating humans or whatever, why yeah. not keep going after more humans? Why would he I dig through the dumpster? A human was born who reverted to its most animal instincts, a kind of carnivorous Neanderthal. Wouldn't he occupy a space above us on the food so chain? I, so I said oh, caveman. Sure. <laughs> All he'd have to do is wait outside any fast food restaurant and eat us on the way in. Right. I became a super dad on the weekend with Scott. I had this unconscious fear of being replaced. I actually had dreams where I was running over a stepfather with my car. Probably shouldn't tell an FBI Well, you'll understand when that. you have kids. Having kids changes everything. Maybe some weekend, if you're up for it, we could uh, take the kids out to the beach for the day. Yeah. Great. I think she's bored. Thank you. Sorry. Or pager. Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt your evening. That's okay. She was so bored. I just had an amazing thought. Maybe it isn't a beast man we're looking for after all. A beast woman? I was wondering why the draw drawn beast was had boobs <laughs> you said it was a female the body they found was a male there's a 50 50 chance there was a mate we may never know unless we find out ourselves if it's true so there's more what are the one? chances of capturing it alive I'm confused. if it is a primate it would have a natural fear of heights something here 
Blood. She could be bringing a killing here. What are they doing? So they they probably got the same call. Here somewhere. Would you check upstairs, Andrew? Go check upstairs. I want this place searched. Where's that park ranger? for Scully to come around the corner. She's not far. She'll be down by the rock. I guess it was a good thing that they ended up having him help them. The thing is, is, didn't he say earlier that he had a pension or whatever that he didn't want to lose? Look. Can you find her? Yep. Can you reach her from here? I can try. Too much, uh... Oh, he got her. Oh, of course he doesn't see him. Oh. oh, damn. They killed her. Why'd you have to kill her? Same reason you kill a rabid animal. It's a freaking person. Compare a person to a rabbit animal. Now they allowed Dr. Diamond to do a medical exam of the body, but he found nothing that suggested prehistoric bone structure or physiology. Mm -hmm. So what happened so many years ago? Jane Doe. And a search like for her identity in state psychiatric records has begun in earnest. Just take some time for yourself. Thanks for the offer, but I've got an appointment at the Smithsonian with an ethnobiologist. I can't wait to tell I don't know why when that phone rang, I wanted to reach for my phone. It didn't even... Older. Like, <laughs> I'm even the same way. Yeah, just a second. It's for you. Tone. Is it that guy? Hello? Hi, Dean. That's Rob. Oh, hi. Sorry to call you yep. at work. It's just I have Scott for the night, and uh, we have two extra tickets for Cirque du Soleil. We thought maybe you'd like to ask Helen if you could take Trent and join us. She's not going to go. Requisition for a car, please, Frank. Thank you. Who's that on the phone? A guy. A guy? Same guy as the guy you had dinner with the other night? Same guy. You gonna have dinner with him again? No. I don't think so. No interest. What are you doing? Flying with you to the Smithsonian. Do you have a life, Scully? Leave that up, Mulder, and I'll hurt you like that beast woman. Eight million years out of Africa. Look who's holding the door. Mm. The story of the Jersey Devil. You know, when I was a kid, my dad used to tell this story about a that her children. Who lived out there in the yep. Oh. Alrighty. That was a good episode. Not like that all of them aren't good episodes, but this one was pretty interesting. 
I don't. And then we got a little bit into their dating life, too. Like, I mean, we know that they're going to end up together, right? I mean, you can just totally see it. I mean, they're, they're like, meant to be. And it's going to be the slow burn all the way up until the end of the series, I'm sure. But it's kind of, it reminds me of, because uh, I watch Bones, so it reminds me of, of Bones, essentially. Like, their relationship and then the slow burn all the way up until... Well, it, there's they didn't get together at the end of the series. They eventually got together, and then, you know, like, you know, whatever. Um, but, yeah. Ugh, the show is so good. Okay. Um, and I love me some Jillian Anderson. So, anyway. All right, guys. So, another amazing episode. But, yeah, if you will for me, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode.